is the first picture we have seen of David Sweat since he escaped from prison 23 days ago. It comes to us from our Deborah Farrick. Yeah, and um, we received this uh, uh, a photograph a little while ago, but you can see he is wearing camouflage gear. You can see that there is blood. You can see that he is being treated by individuals there at the scene. Obviously, they're wearing uh, the protective gloves, uh, but it, it's very interesting. And you can just make out um, on his hip what appears to be sort of a case. And uh, whether that suggests that he was carrying some sort of a knife, uh, you know, we don't know that yet. But the, the question has been, it's, it's cold, it's rainy, at night the temperatures fall. How are these guys able to hide out? And there was even talk about what they might be wearing. We knew that Richard Matt had a rifle. We did not know whether David Sweat was armed, but it appears that one of the reasons or one of the ways that he was able uh, to survive for as many weeks as he did is because he was dressed for the elements. And you can see, because of the sort of the, the camouflage, he could have easily remained yeah. hidden even while he was on the run. But uh, we are being told that he was, he was heading north uh, and that he was trying to get away as quick as possible because not clear whether he was with Richard Matt when all of right. this happened but he made he covered a lot of ground uh, between the two sh between the two shootings essentially